Welcome to the Rising Dawn Gaming premiere episode of our new podcast. Tonight we have RDG The Log, RDG Texas Jam, RDG Sith, and myself hosting RDG Bojangle. Tonight we'll be discussing some of the patch notes, uh, some of the worst picks by members of our team, maybe a special cameo uh, by an unnamed <laughs> member. A special guest. And hopefully by the end we'll be joined by RDG Terra for an interview of his own. And with that we'll get started. First up is the patch notes. Um, pretty big batch today. Okay, I'll take a look. We've got some nerfs on Nar, Renata, Seraphine, Sivir, Yumi, and Zeri. Oh, the Zeri oh, nerfs gonna hit hard. Yeah, <laughs> no more Zeri. Buffs for Alstar, Jarvan, Ivy, LeBlanc, Nocturne, Pantheon, Pantheon Timo, buff. and Varus. I'm gonna LeBlanc say Pantheon buff. LeBlanc buff is a whole W. Star Guardian skins dropped. A uh, bunch of re system reworks. Mm -hmm. Always. It looks like support items are getting reworked. Um, Interesting. Challenging Smite is getting a small nerf. It's because they're getting ready for worlds. Uh, some minor... Oh, the dragon uh, rework is coming in. Interesting. Mm -hmm. oh, that's okay. Each of the drakes will be less... Um, less be, health, more damage, I think. Yeah. Easier to take and more effective. A little more impact on the game. Wait, no, that wasn't LA. Wasn't it more health, less damage? No, the buffs... I could have sworn they made it so it takes that might have been like a Should we look through the numbers? numbers? Maybe. Yeah. Not a bad idea. What is the Aatrox? What is the Aatrox change? I want to see the Aatrox change. I'm very interested. Mr. Ben is very interested in this one. There it is. That's so, health growth increased. Ease healing passive decreased late. R bonus healing decreased late. So, they are nerfing yeah, overall nerf. the healing, I believe. And giving him more health in general. I think they're doing this with Wukong and Red Kane as well, too. I think they're like, because Grievous Wounds got some change. So I think they're changing it. Um, pretty stand. No, oh, that's interesting. Gameplay so, gang gang weaker in lane. Really? Scale up late game. The Q base damage decreased early, increased late. E slow reduce. The slow now scales with crit chance. Um. They really want this champ to build crit, don't they? Yeah, Pass, man, passive now scales. Right. Passive now scales the crit chance too. He already builds crit, crit point. I mean, worse. It's metal. Well, yeah, I guess they kind of killed every other build for him. Start the cloak. Nar. They just nerfed him. His health. Of course, he did. Okay. Here we love Nar. Every big is Jana not nerfed. Um. No, everything's like increased. Jana top oh, is that, nerfed. The shielding, nerfed. the shielding, the heal per second, and the AP scaling is all increased. Jana's honestly so underrated. She's underrated, but she makes me really mad. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> I hate Jana. Uh, Jarvan, uh, some scaling increases, I guess. Uh, not bad. He's kind of a back. dead champ right now. So, like, I, I, I can respect that. Oh, this is the other, the red can, they did the same thing with Aatrox. Um, the oh, Blanc. Blanc. Check out the Pantheon. Pantheon Jungle, Pantheon 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 jungle is back. Like, oh, really? Fancy that is, oh, that's what I heard about. That's quite interesting. We're giving Nocturne a small quality of life update so he isn't punished by his oh, passive. Oh, that one's nothing. Until last hit minions. That's it. Absolutely. It's passive. Nothing. 1%. No oh. Wait, so is this a lane Nocturne buff? It could be. Uh, lane barely. Yeah, I, don't, I don't remember seeing him lane since, like, 2021. He used Stop to it. lane all the time, though. What was it? Uh, Pantheon, that is very nice. I will be, I will be personally playing that. Me too. Uh, we have two of us. This is the weirdest. Why would they nerf her base AD? She's uh, that's whack. That's she doesn't, really she doesn't weird. do any damage to begin with. Yeah, uh, Seraphine, they just nerfed her W. I like that. That's a good thing. Good. <laughs> good. Oh, I like the Sivir nerf too. I heard she's kind of broken right now, but I've never seen her she's yet. She's broken yeah. with Lily Cali right now. Bounces now execute minions that are hit by a ricochet and would have been left at less than 15 health. That's nothing. Yeah, oh, like skip to the Zeri yeah. adjustment. Oh, that Zeri? There's a new. Yeah. Oh, this, this might not be good. Uh, no way. What did they do to They broke Right me. clicks execute enemies with health under 60 to 150 levels. Oh, that's, that's cool. Okay. Un More uncharged stuff. Zeri's right click attack no longer does increase damage to. Okay, but it's the same thing. So they just made it like a. An execute now. An execute now. And then they nerfed what the AP? Yeah, they nerfed the AP yeah. on her 
ultimate. So yeah, that's that AP build's been going. That's some off, good. Like, that's some good. I like the uh, last hitting. Um, oh, I see what they're doing. They're removing it from like champions, and they're pushing it only for her passive, her execute passive being only used for minions and not champions, because mm. it used to be used for champions as well. Um, the item changes. item changes, enchanters, um, the shield power has gotten a nerf across the board. Um, they made almost all healing runes just do less. Yeah, now. they definitely. Yeah, they just kind of reduced the in general healing and shielding power across the board. Um, and they nerfed sunfire. Di sunfire. Wait, no, they did buff it's it. It's because of the no. It's a nerf because it's of when Master is going Bork Sunfire. Oh, people like that, and now it scales with health more instead of interesting. Level, um, potions, whatever. Um, guardian cooldown has been increased. Of course. So don't take that. <laughs> yeah. Was all you supports out there. Only take aftershock. <laughs> nah. Summon Aries. Summon <laughs> impact. Just kind of changes across. Just small number of changes. The smite target damage reduction. Oh, ten percent. So they want. The oh, I see. So it's just a general nerf. It's just a nerf to like duelist to use to abuse that. Um, oh, I love that exhaust nerf. I swear, every <laughs> champion in the game takes it. Thank God. Yeah. Get to the Drakes. So the Drakes, they are nerfing, or they're actually increasing the health across the board. That's what I was saying. And reducing the attacks. They I remember they talked about how they wanted to make it so that each Drake fight is more of an actual battle now instead mm. of having people be able to sneak it. They want it to be an actual fight now. Oh, that's cool. So more more team fights and more skirmishes instead of just so one it takes guy taking it, it. It takes way longer to take now. Mm -hmm. I but see. It does, but it does it less damage. Hurt as much. So yeah, yeah, it's effectively just but it's still gonna last a lot. Just longer, chunkier. So. And got some just general updates. We have to help. <laughs> Chunky. Well, what are your thoughts on the patch notes? Kind of sucks. I don't know. Um, I'm excited for the new Drake. It's a. Um, personally, I want to see my team show up for the Drake fight more often. So <laughs> I, 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 I second that. Uh, I second that notion. Well, I like saying bot lane and not having to do any of that when that That's happens. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, farm up. Honestly, I'm really looking forward to the new LeBlanc changes. As a former LeBlanc main. These buffs are fire. <laughs> what I'm about do? to be one tricking LeBlanc again. Wait, what do they do again? I'm a challenger. It just makes her lane better. <sighs> I can't wait to play Yon and have that happen. <laughs> Where'd I go? Uh -oh. Alright, yeah, should we move back. on our agenda? Yeah, some stuff the patch notes. Uh, so next on the list, uh, we're going to discuss Nyla. Nyla? Nyla? How do you pronounce Nyla. her? Nyla. 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 I personally, I did, I've never played her in a game, but I've played against her. And... The one move that really just grinds my gears is the one that has the same like effect as the Jax E, where she dodges oh, your yeah. auto attacks. Her W. Yeah, her W. It just really infuriates me because so <laughs> and it spreads to ally champions. Yeah, yeah. And it spreads to ally champions. And it, it gets just, a speed so boost busted. too. It just really and the magic resist. Yeah, and I, I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go so far as to call it busted. I would just say it's just incredibly annoying yeah. and why, on an makes, ADC, why would they put on ADC? On an ADC, makes her a nuisance. Nylas, I thought were pretty. It was insane. We got stomped, but after yeah. that, I think people are just trying her out. Have not like yeah. It's not terrible. I personally don't think she's very good. I think that her, um, she's not a very good. She doesn't fill the AD carry role very well. Mm -hmm. Her one like ability or combo is to just dash into your, the group and you know do the same effect as what a Diana would do, and that's like what the only thing she can accomplish. Yeah. So I personally don't think she's a very good AD carry. But. I played her in ARAM, and we had a Diana on the same team as us, and it just looked like the exact same thing happened. Right. It was like Diana did her R, and then I did mine. It was the exact same effect. It, they didn't change anything for that. Yeah. They just changed the damage output, I guess. Yeah. She's annoying. Yep. I yeah, we'll see how she plays out in the next few patches. Ugh. Exactly. Rody. Next. Uh, next thing, we'll talk about the new Star Guardian skins and the event currently out. What are you guys' thoughts about the new Star Guardian event? Music makes me want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I personally think that um, Gragas should have gotten a skin. Yeah, I think I, 100 I, agree. I think for the amount of um, you know fan requests for that skin, I think they should have done something to honor that hype train, <laughs> that thing. Yeah, and they should have. You know, he didn't have to be normal like 
a star guardian, but he just could have just been part of the skin line. Mm -hmm. I just think it's very unfair for them to do that. Yeah, actual. It's actually, not. I, I I do enjoy the fiddlestick skin though. I think it's very funny to give fiddlesticks a star guardian or star enemy skin. Um, mm -hmm. Not and, sure how Echo fit in, but they made yeah. it in a little strange. They made him yeah. a little pre a little prep boy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a little prep boy. And I start at a, at what appears to be a all female school, and there's just one guy there for no reason. <laughs> but you know that's how that works. They should, oh, they should have definitely made Gragas as like a teacher or something. That would have been hilarious. Oh, yeah. That would be high. It's like the drunk teacher that everybody has. <laughs> I know you had some complaints about the Kaisa skin, too. Oh, yeah. So. Why? Oh, we, Kaisa's they like, color voice. theme is like purple. But they made her. The skin looks li like a Katarina skin because mm -hmm. of the way her hair is and just how the model looks. Didn't they change her voice, too? Uh, got really mad I don't have the skin, so yeah. I don't know. But, like. It legit looks like the same like art style as Battle Academia Katarina. Mm. Like they look the exact mm. same. Gotcha. And like the theme too, because they're in the, yeah. they're in a school setting now. So like it's just, I feel like Kaiso should have gotten the dark theme for Star Guardians since most of her skin line matches with like the darker theme since she's like yeah she's a an void. assassin. <laughs> yeah, I the see. whole void concept. Yeah, should've. I think it wouldn't yeah, work well, but. Oh yeah, I was thinking of I was thinking of Kali. I'm stupid. Oh, the Kali nice. skin goes hard though. Uh, Kali skin goes hard, for it to but people, out. I I think that was the one. People were like, "Why did they change her voice? They made her uh, sound really like girly now. She I see. Like, she doesn't sound like a strong female anymore." Interesting. <laughs> I see. Like, Which isn't our business to talk. Shut up. <laughs> Which isn't our business to talk about as all a dude cast right now. She <laughs> doesn't sound like a girl anymore. <laughs> All right. Do we want to bring our special guest? All right. So All right. we have a supposed special guest. We're going to be branching out of league for a second here. Uh, we're going to be going to our Subnautica portion of the podcast uh, with AJ Kamatoy. Now, uh, while we get that ready, we'll have a break for a note from our sponsors. Jack, you like to take that one? Which All right. So today have? we're Baja. sponsored by Baja Blast. As you can see, Mr. Sith it's is so currently drinking up the Baja Blast. <laughs> you can buy these at your local Meyer or Kroger. And they they sell them in 12 per can box. Only like 5-6 bucks. It's definitely a steal. I would highly recommend you buy at least 5 boxes. And you can keep them in your like garage or something. Who knows when you might need to have a party with all only Baja Blast. And this doesn't... one we've been saving for this very basement. It's been in Ben's basement for what you Max. say a month or so. I would say at least three years. It ages like wine. Yeah. That's and right. it doesn't go bad like the one at Taco Bell. If you leave that one out for like an hour, it tastes bad. But this one isn't. <laughs> this can. one guaranteed refreshing anytime. <laughs> and it won't give you a really bad stomach. Buy one when your child starts school, drink it when they graduate. Hmm, all true. right. Now we are going to see if AJ picks up the phone. Tempt. <laughs> AJ did call us right before this and said he would be here. So yeah, he said. We'll see if he did something. Hello there. Uh, sir. Welcome to the podcast, AJ. You're on air right now. We'd like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. Oh uh, yeah, what's up? Throwing the phone around. All right. So currently, we're talking about Subnautica, and we're just <laughs> we're just wondering. So how come? When was the last time you played Subnautica, AJ? Uh, last time I played it was about a month ago. All right. What was that? Did you say a minute ago? <laughs> I, I think you said a minute. Ago. I think you said a minute ago. ago. Yeah, sorry for interrupting, AJ. Uh, we'll let you get back. I, I think it's cutting off, AJ. I think it, you said a minute ago. <laughs> but anyways, the next question we yeah, have for you is: <laughs> uh, What got you into playing Subnautica? What What were What would you describe the game as? <laughs> Um, I'd describe the game as a, as a, uh, uh, a psychedelic horror. Psychedelic horror, eh? <laughs> and would you recommend it? Would you say it's family friendly or? How, how scary would you uh, say it is? It's, it's very fam fam uh, family friendly. Uh, I did, I heard you had a, a new daughter. Would you, would you let her play or no? Wait till she's older. Who? Your, your daughter. Your daughter. <laughs> would you let her play? Um... Yes, because uh, you see, the fear of drowning is very dangerous for any child. Yeah, exactly. this will help them overcome yeah. that fear. It's very simple. As in psychology, it's, a psych it's uh, 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 not flooding, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, exactly. it could be flooding. Exactly. Right. So it's so it's educational for the youth. It promotes you know survival instincts that you know the youth need to have nowadays. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, more than ever, more than ever of course. <laughs> I'm actually, um, I'm actually suggesting that it be on um, esports. 
Right oh, mm-hmm. oh, really? Speedruns, maybe? No, with the multiplayer mods, I'm assuming that you guys can do a PvP uh, mm-hmm. uh, tournament thing. That's a good idea. We might have to bring that to RDG. Thanks. Look forward to our, an episode mm-hmm. coming up here. We'll discuss that. <laughs> Explore it as an option. Yes. Uh, any last comments, AJ? We've, um, we're here talking about Video games in general, any life advice? What, anything you want? I haven't even talked about life at all. <laughs> um, as for life advice, I'd say that uh, don't go to uh, what's that one place called? Dollar General, Taco Bell. Taco no, there's this mac and cheese place in Saginaw. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nasty. Don't go there. <laughs> all right, we'll sounds that good. That's good life know. advice, AJ. That's good life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time, well, AJ. It was wonderful and honor having you here. Well, we'll have you sure on the to. we'll have you on the podcast soon. All right, sounds good. All right, bye bye. Sure <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Subnautica a- portion of our. <laughs> We'll be looking into that. We'll be looking into that multiplayer yeah, mod. Sure. It'll definitely happen. We might be live streaming some night. Mm-hmm. Be sure to yeah. um, look up our special guest on Be Real. Check uh, <laughs> some like his contact. Check info. us out. Check us out on Spotify. Juice Water. We'll be on he Spotify. Is, we might a, be on Twitch. Who knows? He's an upcoming viral social media star. Um, seven five, by the way. Seven five. Uh, he's going to MSU. <laughs> you get off day phone, Ben. I'm looking at. I'm looking at AJ's. Um, um, his be real information. So mm. yes, so his be real information is just going to be AJ Kamatoy. We'll link it in the bio. Yep. Um, link in the description. Sure I'm on our website. The all the information there. <laughs> we yes, have a of website. <laughs> all right. So I'll move on. Building yes. one. All right. The next portion of our podcast, we will be looking at the top ten, the or not really rated, but ten top worst one. picks from RDG in no particular order. <laughs> yep. Right. And these are randomized, so we don't know what each other picked. Inputted. These were submitted by members of the team, but have not been reviewed yet. These are... Uh... Alright, cool, cool, cool. yeah. yeah. Alright, so the first one we got. So for our first pick, we have... RDG Bojangles to Leah support. <laughs> I gotta say, this one... Uh, this one makes me mad. This one makes me horribly yeah. mad. As I completely our, agree. As one of our uh, resident ADC players, whenever he is my support and he chooses to Leah, I... Actively want to quit that game. I don't want to play that game. Right, that's Actually, how bad it is. We can understand. I yeah, get, yeah. consistently get the most damage on the team. That though. doesn't help when I, I die. Just say, but how's that win percentage on the team? There's got to be something to be like say for the damage right. I do. Right, I just feel like my team doesn't quite like doesn't understand quite how to work with it. Meet like my output on that on mm, the team. Okay, like okay. I, that does make sense. All right, next. <laughs> Oh, RDG Squishies of Mumu Mid. See that we knew this one was coming as well. Yeah. RDG Squishies of Mumu Mid. We have uh, lots. Honestly, of- I've never seen it as bad Mid. as it is. It's mad respect. The okay, guy, I, I, I will I, say I give it to him. That. I will give it to him. It is mad respect. Someone had to do it. I just and have a lot of negative emotions associated with this pick. <laughs> I have memories of you know Gabe. You know we all queue up as a five man. It's a, it's you know it's a fun time. Yeah, it's fun time. Gabe locks in a mumu mid. He rage quits within like two or three <laughs> minutes, and, and then, then we have to remake. And then the game is ruined, and he's gone. <laughs> and then he's like. I won't play anymore. I won't play unless you FF15. Yeah. <laughs> and then he just dips. You know, FF by 15, he will actively leave the game. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. What's next? What's next? Next pick? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, it's <laughs> already G Jangles Kindred my, Jungle. I don't have the win rates. My, um. It's no marks. On hand, my percentages, but. <laughs> it's probably like 30. <laughs> it's gotta be at least like 52. Yeah. Like, no on a can, good day. Can, can the member who submitted this please give the reasoning why? I remember every single time Mr. Bojangle pulls out the Kindred, he just gets completely <laughs> obliterated by the enemy jungle. Yeah, it's always, it's always an assassin. If, if he's not, that's because one of our laners is babysitting him oh, yeah, in the that jungle. Too. I remember the Talon game. That's called a synergy. When I play with yeah, okay. Shen Top, we work together. That's you what can't, if you can't carry that's what's good. Lie. You can't rely on synergy. Good teams do that kind of thing. Only ADC is allowed to do that. Um, the one exception was against a Rengar on the enemy team. Who, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, he went like 0-14 that game or something. Actually went AFK in the river bush. I think it was like 0-20. He sat there. Uh, we didn't check the replay, but I guarantee he was there for at least 10 minutes. And I, I walked up doing everything right, and He's I there. blinked, and like, my game glitched. That was all I could say. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
Oh, oh this next one. RDG Bojangles quirky oh, mid. I did this, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. RDG Bojangles quirky mid. You got anything mid. to defend yourself, Mr. Bojangle? Uh, learning. I'm growing. This was an era of mine uh, <laughs> behind me now. I just one of those terrible uh, quirky mid. It was, we had fun with Corky and me. We had, we had now, fun? Really? Had fun. <laughs> you had fun. I don't know if I had fun. <laughs> that was a straight up lie. I distinctly remember. Um, I'm, pretty sure you got, I'm pretty sure that's the one time I've ever heard I you. I would just yell. always be against Zed, and <laughs> it was not fun, actually. I would sit in a tower and get flamed the whole game. Uh, but, you know, we learned, we grew. Uh, improvise, adapt, overcome, as they say. And overcome as in move on and never look back from Corky Mid. Well, <laughs> like never look back to playing that yeah, champion. Okay. That's fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> um, oh, we got we a repeat. repeat. First repeat. We have a repeat of RDG Squishy's Amumu Mid. So that is obviously a very big Disrespect. contender. Very yeah. big contender. I, I gotta say, twice is <laughs> one too many. Like, <laughs> we'll see. You like that mid? You know, yeah, too much. Amumu Mid. Oh my god! Wait, what? <laughs> this is a thing. No, I don't you, remember this. No, it's not. I, I got confused. Oh, we got a Mr. I, CT whiff I've, here. I've got, I've got like a, But pretty much another vote for Mr. Bojangles. Yeah, Corky so we have mid. another vote for uh, Mr. Mid. Bojangles Corky Mid. It well so lost. it's currently tied with Gabe's Amumu Mid. Have, currently tied. I have slight dimension. Next one. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I gotta give it up to whoever wrote this one. This one's <laughs> oh, a good one. That's just neat. RDG slashes Malphite any role. I will say he's a man after my own heart. <laughs> my <laughs> champions, um... <laughs> I just like to pick the versatile ones that can go any role, and <laughs> RDG Slash has really taken, he's um, following out of my, my footsteps, I think it's a lot to be said. He's taking him under your wing. And it, this is Those trailblazing at its finest. Um, he's, yeah, we've seen Malphite support, Malphite ABC, Malphite jump, he just, he'll do anything. And that's called yeah. Determination, that's on Grit, they miss that's every on... Um, Open mindedness, really. Will, which RDG is always rush warm ups, and he will never hit his R. <laughs> yeah, rush warm ups. You will never yep. see him hit his R. Yep, I gotta give it to him though. <laughs> gotta give it to him. Oh, this one is this a self submitted? Yeah. Okay, I see. RDG sits. It's gin. not good. It's not. It's not helpful. I haven't seen scenarios. it too many times. All I know is he not, plays two thousand mile yeah, away. That's, that's all I know. <laughs> that's all I know. It's too that's far away. Miles. He will never auto a champion as champion. Oh no! He, he just only uses ult only W and from ult. max range. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> that's all you'll see. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Oh yeah, this, this had to be on. Yeah, here. this one had to be. <laughs> RDG Bojangles Singe Top was um is associated very strongly with the birth of RDG itself. It we have <laughs> clips. Yeah. Um, okay. The RDG start was birthed from Singe Top, and I think there's a lot to be said there. Like, that oh, should be. Times. I think Silver submitted this didn't take that into account. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. That we killed one guy with the RDG. And then we lose the game because yeah. Singe Top exists. I see. Yeah. Proxy to wave. Proxy to yeah, wave. Yeah, never in any other lane. <laughs> oh. And the final pick of the night is RDG Bojangles Action Mid. Wow. I can't, I can't believe uh, Mr. Uh, Texas James Zeri Jungle wasn't in there. Do you have anything to say? It was close. It was it's honorable mention. <laughs> yeah, I didn't submit this. This was uh, I, I don't know why it's out of the Action That one disappeared. That one that's came in. meta that's uh I did well. I had some good plays. Um good as in not reviving. I think the complaint yeah. my team would say is that they didn't get revived enough. Yeah. Um to that yeah. I'd say don't die is usually the first step. I always just complain that revived. we have two ADCs and no. we're lacking something because we have two ADCs now. <laughs> That's one and a half when Seth is playing ADC. But, uh, That's fair. <laughs> kill you. I gotta give it to him for that one. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> Caitlin's getting good. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm personally surprised Bard did not make it on this I list. forgot Bard uh, existed. That's true. Bard is a... Uh, that was a very bad... Um, yeah, we don't talk about. We don't. We don't, we don't, bars, we don't really talk about bar. We don't talk about. Bar. I, I gotta say, I am also highly surprised my Zeri jungle that made it on this. I didn't make put, it on this list. I should have put your ribbon top on. I, you list. know, personally, I feel like I've what had. I feel like I've had a decent amount of good games with Zeri jungle to make up for the bad ones. Yeah. I don't so think it can so. it can be considered, you know, in some means, you know, a normal pick with a normal champ. <laughs> uh, I feel like it's you know completely viable. Jackie gets salty. It's really good. Cause yeah. No. 
I I personally enjoy it. I, I don't I don't play it in ranked, but you know it's my fun it's my fun time. I have no ifs or buts about it. I think it's fine. Thank you. He plays it and it happens. I love Zary. I love Zary. I <laughs> love Zary. Yeah. Love Zary. All right, say one for the pot. Say it. Say it for the pot. Oh come on! I love Zary. There it is. Here it is first. You hear that every time he picks a chair. All right, I just got recent information that uh, Mr. Terra will not be showing up since he says he's got to sleep up. Oh. Okay. So Do we will be. Cutting the podcast short tonight. Oh. Uh, any final words? Uh, yeah, we'll end with a note from our secondary sponsor. We've um, had an offer for a local performance. Jackie, you do the, uh, oh. the log. Yes. So, this weekend, Thursday through Sunday, the must man, a.k.a. the music man, yeah. will be shown at the Center for the Arts. Mm. And this is produced by TMI, a.k.a. Teenage Music Cole Inc. And so... Ninja Turtles? No. Oh. This is a sponsor. Damn. Anyways, everyone should come see it. Thursday, Friday is at 7 p.m. Saturday, Sunday is at 2 p.m. And tickets are sold at Center for the Yards website. Be there or be Gabe. Uh, That's right. Yeah, Gabe lives in... We out. In over, he can't do anything. This is uh, <laughs> Rising Dawn Gaming, you know, signing off. So, thank you for watching, everyone. Bye. Make sure Bye to subscribe. Make sure, make sure to subscribe and hit the link below. And make sure to share with your friends. <laughs> make sure to turn on the notifications, too. The best way to too. support a podcast is to share with your family. Definitely. Your mom, make sure to uh, hit, grandma make sure to go to our Patreon, soon to be set up, and leave a donation of four, uh, $4,616, aka 4616 for Congress Drive. We also will donations on the porch of 4616 Congress Drive. Yeah, yeah you, can, you can drop it right off the porch. <laughs> right on the porch. Nobody lives there, by the way. Well, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.